What's going on YouTubers? I have a little update I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, you might notice that I've moved my 1 scale iron studios that used to be up here uh, and now I have the Loki Scepter with the briefcase which I think looks really good displayed like that because you know they go hand in hand together. So uh, another thing right here with the Hulk we got the Tesseract prop. So you know each of these have some sort of prop next to them for the most part. And so I put the Tesseract here. Now you're probably wondering, why would I move my Infinity War props? Now I am going to show you guys. I also moved Groot right here. And even put this little ground display here since he has a clear base. And I think that looks pretty cool. But I am making a quite a bit of a change here. So this section, which is my Infinity War Endgame, I'm now incorporating the Iron Studios 110th entire diorama. So on this lower back shelf right here, I displayed the three additional Infinity Stone props. Right here I have Hawkeye, and I'm sure you can guess what's going to go next to it. Red Skull and Black Widow for the Vormir scene when they got the Soul Stone. Above it, on top of these black bases, the Black Order. So got the whole line on pre-order and whatnot. So I'm gonna put the entire Black Order right there. And I put the end game, Infinity Gauntlet, and then down low, turn on the lighting so you can see it better. Uh, so this is gonna be my end game setup. Got a bunch of display risers to ensure I can see everything perfectly. So I went ahead and ordered and pre-ordered all the remaining 1 scale that need to complete this line really. Just a few I'm not getting. Uh, you know, I should be getting about five in next week. Decided to cancel a few pre-orders to fund this. So just redirecting certain statues and getting this instead. You know, I really love these one tenths. They're incredibly detailed and great paint job and sculpt. Avengers Infinity War and Endgame are my two favorite movies of all time. So I wanted to get this. Every time I looked at that display, I was like, God, that looks so cool. This was the way I could do it. So I won't have all the characters in here but I will have the majority of them. The other remaining characters are gonna be on the display to the right, which is actually my Infinity War setup. So this one is gonna be my Titan scene. So you got the Infinity War, Thanos. I displayed the Homecoming Spider-Man there because I'll be getting the Spider-Verse Outrider in here and I didn't want two of the same costume. So that works, I mean, he was in that costume in the movie. And then you got these three from the fight, getting Drax and Iron Man. And then I will be getting custom made backgrounds and back and ground drops for both these displays. because that really brings it next level. So I should be getting Hulk, which I plan to display right there. Groot right behind Ant-Man. Iron Patriot with Rocket. On that display riser in the back is going to be Pepper Potts. So I'm basically putting all the flying characters on display risers. So you can see them in the back flying and then the grounded characters on the ground and then the way I'll display it. I want all the girls in the middle behind Thanos and then to the right of her is going to be Black Panther, Falcon, Bucky, Captain, Outrider, Spideyverse Outrider. I am Iron Man right there and I'll switch this Thanos with the other Thanos often depending on how you want to do it. But I am Iron Man right in the middle, Thor to the left and Hulk. So that's everything I'll display here. Just got these posters in the meantime until I get those backdrops, which I plan to have printed this Wednesday. I thought about going through 12 inch figures who does them custom. I've done them in the past and he was reasonably priced in the past, you know, for a very large one, it was like $150, but I asked him to do this for me and he wanted $600 PayPal gifts. So I was like, yeah, screw that. I could print this at my local shop for 80 bucks. I just got to find the right backgrounds and 4k and size them up right and you know so that's what i'll be doing part of my avengers infinity war end game so in essence i'll have four scenes i'll have infinity war titan battle which was my favorite battle there the end game final battle best battle scene ever made vormir the death of my one and all favorite black widow and a crucial moment in you know that movie, and then of course the entire end game. So that is the plan. 
So luckily for you guys, that means there's going to be a lot more unboxing and statue reviews. So I'll be unboxing and reviewing every single 110 scale I get. And there's like 15 or 16 more, I think. So great news for the channel. Lots of new statues will be added. Should be getting about five or four this week, one next week, and all of them in the next few months are all shipping very soon. And I was actually able to, you know, pre-order and order them all on Iron Studios website, which does not have tax like Sideshow does now. And I had a 10% off coupon. So I got 10% off the whole order, which was amazing. So that saved me a lot of money right there. But that is basically what I wanted to let you guys know. I also canceled two other pre-orders so I could get the Prime One Alita Deluxe. It's shipping pretty much next month. So I'll be getting her as well. I moved my Tarzan vs. Gorilla in the hallway, because that's more of a hallway type statue. I'll be getting the Alita statue instead because I canceled two pre-orders. You know, I still had like 16 statues on pre-order, some quite expensive ones, so I canceled several so I can basically fund this and Alita because I really want Alita. I love the movie, love the statue, and it's shipping within a month. So that is it, folks. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think it was the right decision to start this one-tenth line? I think it is. The more I look at it, the more I love it. I just need the, you know, the backdrops and the ground drops to really bring the display to the next level and making the use of the risers will ensure that I can see every character perfectly because I don't want it too clustered or crowded but obviously it is a war scene and the characters are clustered and super close because they're fighting so it does make sense so that is it folks let me know your thoughts like comment subscribe have a great day